and it's so crafty AG and today I'm going to be doing another DIY American Girl room decor. So my last two you guys seem to like so I am doing another one. So if you guys um, like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and comment down below your favorite DIY I did in this video. So let's get started. Okay so the first thing we're going to make is this adorable dream catcher. So this is super simple. So all you're going to need is some string. I'm just using some white stuff. And you're going to need some wire, but you could also use like a wire ring type thing, but I didn't have that. And you're going to need some ribbon. So I'm just using an assortment, just some stuff that I found at my house. And lastly, um, some feathers and also just a hot glue gun to put everything together. Okay, so we're going to start by taking our wire and just bending it into a circle. Um, however big you want. I just kind of did like an average dream catcher size um, compared to the American Girl dolls. So I just made that and I twisted... Of, or I twisted the ends so they would stay in there and then I took some ribbon and I wrapped it around the wire ring gluing as I went okay so next I'm going to take my white string and just tie it on to the wire hoop thing and we're going to start making the dream catcher so this is kind of difficult to explain, but you're just going to take this string and wrap it around um, part of the wire and then take it and cross it over again and wrap it around. I'm just going to keep on doing this throughout the whole thing. If you don't understand it, just watch and I think then you should get it. Okay, so as you can see, I finished the first layer. Now, instead of twisting it on the hoop, you're just going to twist it on the strings that you made. And if you want, you can add beads as you go along. I think this looks really cool. So here's what it looks like, and I just hot glued um, at the end and snipped off the extra string. So now for the fun part, in my opinion, is to glue on all of the little ribbons. So you're just going to have fun with it and glue lots of different things. I glued some chain, some ribbons, and some string. Just kind of went crazy with it. And there is my final dream catcher. So I just tied a string to the top of it and hung it up on Regan's wall. Okay, now we're going to make this super simple pom-pom pillow. Like this is beyond simple. So you're just going to need a pillow. This is one that was just in her room. And some pom-poms and hot glue to put it on. But it is so simple. You're just going to take the pom-poms and glue them onto your pillow. And I chose to do them all the way around, but you can really do whatever you want. And there's your pom pom pillow. Okay, so next thing we're gonna make is this pom pom garland. As you can see, I was into pom poms. So, all you're gonna need for this is some yarn. Um, I'm just using some gray stuff and some white stuff, but whatever color you want. A needle with a big hole in it, just so you can thread yarn into it. And scissors, but you're gonna start, oh, well, of course, on your fingers. So, you're just gonna start by taking two or three fingers, depending how big you want your pom pom and you're just going to wrap the string around it. But you don't want to do it super tight because then it's going to be hard to feed the string through there. Just do it so your fingers are still kind of, they're still alive. And then you're going to take a piece of string and put it through your two fingers. And then you're going to tie them together. So this is really hard to do by yourself. So if you can get help, then you should totally do that because it makes it a lot easier. Okay, so then when you have that tied, you're just going to slide it off. And it should be really loose right now, but you're going to take another piece of string and just tie that around there to make it a lot tighter so the pom-pom will actually stay together. So make sure you tie this in a double or a triple knot. And the last thing you're going to do is take your scissors and cut through all those loops. It's easiest if you have like fabric scissors or something. This makes this process a lot easier and just cut through on both sides and then once you're done go ahead and give your pom-pom a haircut and just cut off all those loose ends and kind of spread it out so it looks the way you want it to look 
and I made four pom-poms, two gray and two white, and then now I'm just going to take my needle and thread and um, slide them on to the pom-pom garland. And this was so easy to make, and I think this turned out really, really well. And you could totally make this for your own room too, I think it would look so cute. And there's the final look at it. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!